What's up everybody, it's your boy the legend coming at you from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, one of my favorite places on earth. And I'm uh, curious to show off Cobra's Curse, the new uh, thrill ride coming next year, the max spinning coaster here in the Egypt section of the park. And uh, most notably now, so it's been a while since we've done one of these updates, but uh, the fact that it, it climbs over the, the big old Montu rock here is really uh, something that we saw in the model when we were at Iapa, but uh, until you get to the park and you look at it, it's like, man, that's a huge, huge change for this section of the park. Now, the construction walls do run all the way down, as you get the old Tut's tomb behind walls over here. And that is, uh, obviously, the they starting construction there, and that's going to be the new queue for the Cobra's Curse. But I'm going to take you over here and show you some of the, uh, the construction work going on. And it's kind of interesting, too, because you have um, sort of lift support kind of things. They're just purely for aesthetics. Like, these lift, the supports here, they end nowhere. Like they're just, um, they're sort of, I mean, I'm sure there's some support features in there, but there's also extra iron and steel in there for just for the aesthetics of it. Again, we go into this park, you know, every year since, I don't know, 93 or so to see something share the, the Montu rocks, really kind of weird. But that said, I am looking forward to Cobra's Curse. I think it's going to be a really, really neat little ride. Um, the park does need, I think, a, a good family roller coaster that doesn't go upside down. So it's definitely something I think the park needed quite a bit. Also, the Egypt section of the park, uh, since Akbar has been closed, and then especially since they closed Tut's Tomb, has been a very, very quiet section of the park. So I think they're putting it in a very, very good spot. Also, the queue for Cobra's Curse is going to be air-conditioned, which, again, the park does not have a whole lot of indoor things. So especially when as hot as it does get over here in Tampa, definitely something that's very much needed. Now, I'm going to walk over here by the Montu entrance is where you get another good view of the construction process and a lot of the twisting and turning and stuff that's going to occur on this ride. Uh, one thing that they haven't started vertical construction yet on yet is the big sort of iconic signature element, which is the, the big cobra and the elevator lift system, because that, that obviously you need a lot of foundation to do that. And here we go. We get a, a good shot of all the twisted steel and the lift. The lift's going to be tire driven. And you got actually a really cool shot right here because the train goes right through it. The supports I'm going to show off in the next video, you can see the train going through right there. But there you go, you got a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of work being done, a lot of really twisted looking tracks. I think it's going to be a really, really fun ride. Obviously, um, some work left to do, but uh, they're definitely making a lot of progress. Let's move on to the next location. Well, over here we're by the uh, in the edge of Africa exhibit, getting a, another view of the uh, the ride construction. And you can see over here it's really moved along from a different angle. One thing I like, we saw the train go by a minute ago, and you can notice these really really weird looking supports. They're like, why are those on a, a roller coaster like that? Well, that's because the train goes right through the middle, right there. And that was that was kind of a neat thing to see. Also, you get kind of a cool view of the uh, the lift element from over here, the one that goes right up on the, the Montu Rock. But I think the, the, the highlight of being over on this side is getting this view here and seeing all that track. And it's cool, it kind of gets the roller coaster tycoon feel with the track just being ended right there. But that'll pretty much do it for Cobra's Curse. Moving along nicely, I think it's going to be a really, really fun ride. So we're here in the Painted Camel gift shop where they have a construction wall up. And uh, it's going to be the future home of Falcon Fury's ride photo, which is awesome because that. Uh, that photo of you when you tilt up like that and before you drop the faces and the photos would be absolutely amazing and I have not put an on-ride photo in a very long time and I think that would be really really cool also for the longest time they the only sort of Falcon Fury shirt they've had have been this which I think is pretty ugly but now they've got um, this one here they've got a new one and that one I think is much much better so new shirts and a on-ride photo with coming soon for Falcon Fury one of the scariest rides on the planet, easily. It's like a, except for like, you know, like a, a bungee jump or a sky coaster, things like that. Like as far as like included with admission rides, one of the scariest rides I've been on. So I would say weirdest prizes here at Bush Gardens. These bears here, you think like, oh, yep, those are weird bears wearing some sort of t-shirt. No, we're just, the shirts are so weird. Yeah. <laughs> Win me. 
So I just thought this was really cool. In this crane game, they have Domo Ghostbusters. So it, it's Slimer Domo or Logo Domo, Domo or Stay Puft Domo or Ghostbuster Domo. That's, that's neat.